Today, let's sketch a couple of strawberries. They're incredibly unique strawberries because these two strawberries were cultivated by me. I desire to share this amazing experience and insight with you. One day, I devoured a delicious strawberry and had a spontaneous idea to cultivate strawberries. What do you think about taking prompt action? After planting the seeds in the soil for a few months, the strawberries successfully grew. Reflecting on that day, I confidently buried the seeds in the soil and started waiting for miracles to occur. Day after day, during the lengthy wait, finally, this day has arrived. The tiny bud began to blossom like a red pearl, emitting an alluring fragrance. The small red fruit lay quietly in the embrace of green. It was plump and bright red, emitting a tempting sweet fragrance. I carefully picked it and put it in the palm of my hand, savoring the moment of accomplishment and the delicious taste of the freshly picked strawberry. Experiencing the temperature and the pulse of life, as if perceiving the joy of God in the aftermath of creation, filled with awe and wonder. Even though I only gathered two strawberries, the happiness in my heart is indescribable. In the lengthy process of planting, we can only experience the joy of blooming and bearing fruit after observing, anticipating, exerting effort, and making sacrifices. We can perceive God's love and plan. We are all seeds in God's hands. God is always patient. He is willing to invest time in preparing and planting each seed. When God places us as seeds in the soil, it is an essential lesson that God imparts to us. The period of experiencing pain is very prolonged. Day by day, the seed patiently waits to germinate in the soil, nourished by hope and faith in the promise of growth and transformation. If there is no grace of God, no rain and sunshine, can the seeds germinate through our own efforts and abilities? What makes us grow is God. Let's take a look at Joseph's days of suffering, as if he were planted in the ground. The days of trial were long, but in the end, Joseph saved the whole country and a family and survived the disaster. God knows the duration of our forging process, similar to that of a silversmith. Upon witnessing the silver being refined to mirror his image, he ceases the process promptly. Presently, despite being unable to perceive God's benevolent intentions or the forthcoming splendor, we have faith in God's infallibility. He's known as the one who calls things to work together and benefits from the God of love. Let's learn the lesson of waiting and suffering, not being impatient, not promoting seedling growth. Every lesson takes time. We learn to bloom and results come naturally. God accompanies us as seeds. Training is for bearing fruitful and more blessings in the future. I hope we do not snatch every day from God's hands. Give him enough time to forge us. He will not arrive excessively tardy. Acquire the skill of being patient and wait. Have faith that your seed will definitely produce delicious fruit.